Ladies and gentlemen, today we're diving into the Hori Hotus control system, a controller that promises to elevate your gaming experience, especially if you're a fan of immersive controls. Thanks for tuning in, and I'm Chik Mangla. First off, who is Hori? Hori is a Japanese company that was founded in 1969, known for creating high quality gaming peripherals like controllers joysticks, and racing wheels for platforms that includes Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, and PC. Now, this company is recognized for its precise and durable products, often collaborating with gaming developers to enhance gaming experiences. Their products, like the Hora's flight control systems, are widely used by both casual and hardcore gamers, particularly in flight and racing simulations. Let's start with the unboxing, and Hori likes to keep it simple, yet functional. The controller is neatly packed and ready to go. The first thing you'll notice is a solid build quality. It feels robust in hand, which is always a good sign for long-term durability. As we look at the controls, the button layout is intuitive and the analog sticks and triggers are comfortable to use. Now the controller is designed to mimic the feel of a cockpit, trying to lean towards authentic flight control experience right out of the box. Now this box consists of a mount as well, but for this video, I think I'm good without a mount as I have a next level flight simming cockpit, which perfectly accommodates these controls. Now let's dive into the features. The HOTAS flight control comes with several programmable buttons that you can customize. This actually helps us. This is perfect for mapping specific controls for different types of aircraft or different flight scenarios. Now the analog stick feels smooth and the triggers offer just the right amount of resistance what is needed, making it easier to perform some maneuvers. One standard feature is the wide connection. It might sound simple, but ensuring zero lag during critical moments in your flight makes more sense. While some might prefer wireless controllers, the stability and reliability of a wide connection can be quite essential in flight swimming so as to get that feedback when we need it immediately.
taking the controller for a spin in MSFS. As we're flying through the clouds here, the controllers perform well. It's smooth and responsive, making flying feel intuitive. Now the button placement is ergonomic, reducing the need to look down at the controller constantly that allows us to focus on our flight. Be it a takeoff, navigating through turbulent skies or landing smoothly, this gives a good performance and is reliable for both casual and hardcore flight swimmers. Now one of the standout features I'd like to bring as well would be ergonomics and these are essential to any swimmer. Ergonomics is another area where this controller shines. The grips are comfortable and the weight is just right, not too heavy or not too light. And even after long gaming sessions, the controller feels natural and comfortable to use. I do have a few points under areas of improvement. While the HOTAS flight control system has a lot going for it, there are a few areas where it could improve. For example, the D-pad. Though functional, no doubt about it, it could use a more tactile feel as it felt a bit soft which might affect precision in certain scenarios. This is what I think. The controller also lacks vibration feedback. While it's not a deal breaker, to be honest, having that feature could enhance immersion, especially during takeoffs and landings when you want to feel every movement. Lastly, the cable. While offering great stability as a wide controller, this could be longer. And if you have a larger setup, the current length might feel a bit restrictive. So something to note. But I do think that overall, the HOTAS flight control is a good choice for flight swimming. If you want a reliable, responsive and an immersive controller, I think this takes the marks. While it has a few areas that could be refined, it can offer a good value for its price and would be a fantastic addition to your flight sub setup. Now at the moment, this is sold for $4.99 at their website. That's it for today's review. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button for future releases. As always, it's been a true pleasure. And until next time, bye-bye for now.